Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to show you the different lighting I use. I have a bunch of these box lights. I have the actual square ones and then I have the ones that are more of like a rectangle. I'm currently using the more rectangle ones because I found that the square ones were giving me too much light. I got all of these from Amazon. I also have a ring light. I have two ring lights actually. I have one that is $200 and then I have one that is like a cheap $70 one. And trust me, I've taken pictures with both of them. There was a huge difference. This one gives you a more softer look and you'll get more of a natural look. This one is more harsh. It is like really like blaringly bright. This one also has this type of cover that goes over the light instead of like the hard plastic shell one, which I think makes a huge difference. I've had this one for a few years now. I want to say I've had it for about three years and with it being so expensive, I expect it to last so much longer too. And I guess during this video, I'll just go ahead and go over the backgrounds that I use for my videos and photos. Now this isn't currently what I'm using because I decided to switch things up a little bit. I used to use these for backgrounds, but I found that it was messing with my lighting and the camera just was having a hard time focusing on me. So I stopped using those. I don't, I have a bunch of them now and I really don't know what to do with them. So I was sticking with like paper recently, but I found that I just was really looking to change things up. And like, sometimes you can tell it just is a hard time picking up the color. So I know that when you do a look, you kind of want your look to go with the background or at least have the background being a complementary color to whatever look you're going for. But when I was body painting, and if it didn't look good with pink, the only other option I had was purple. And if it didn't look good with purple, I was kind of shit out of luck when it came to taking photos or good video and making sure that my look looked at its best with these type of backgrounds. So you get a good array of colors before you start using these as your main background. I have lost a lot of footage because the background threw off the lighting or threw off like all this other stuff. There's just so much that goes to it when you use one of these backgrounds. But sometimes these make my footage look crazy dusty or like really murky. And maybe it's just me. Once again, I am completely uneducated in photography and I'm sure there are people who are educated in it watching this video being like well duh like you need to do this this and this if you have any advice on any photo or video equipment please let me know I would love to look into it for myself everything that I use my background and lighting is from Amazon so I'll leave the links for all the items in the description below in case you want to check them out for yourself all right guys, so that is all the lighting and background stuff I use. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.